Look at this. Look at this defensive reading. Oh my god, man. Sign me up, Atletico. You should have signed me instead of Joe Felix, mate. You spent 100 million on leading Joe Felix. Give me 100 quid, mate. I'm there. Hey, you. Do you want to get some really cheap and easy FIFA coins to help you with your FIFA 20 Ultimate Team on FIFA 20 in the year 2020? <laughs> Look no further than U7Buy.com. Use the code Brooksy at checkout for 5% off your account, player, and coin purchases. Have a nice day. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brooksy HD. Today we are using the FIFA 20 transfer flops slash worst signings of the season so far. Uh, whatever the hell the video is called, you'll see what the title is called. Apart from the goalkeeper, that was from two seasons ago, but I'll explain why in a minute. I have two things for you guys to do. Yeah, very very important things for you guys to do. The first thing is you gotta like this video. Very, very important that you like this video. Let's get over a thousand likes. If you do, that'll be absolutely fantastic. Second thing is, whoever you support, tell me who your worst signing of the season was. Now, the goalkeeper, this is what I was saying. Goalkeeper is Kepa. Kepa was signed two years ago for 78 million. For the price tag and for the performances you get out of this man, I personally don't think it's worth it. There are so many better options out there, so many better younger options, in my opinion, um, that we could be going for. Shift him on. We're going to make a loss on him, whatever, but... Uh, some of the performance it, it, because he's six foot one it really is he, some of the saves he should be making he can't physically because he's too small maybe his jumping reach isn't good enough or maybe he just doesn't have the reaction speed or something like that Jao Cancelo is at right back this one is a I mean I kind of read the room with this one when he was signed Serie A and Premier League are two completely different leagues and when you've already got a player like Kyle Walker in your team to try and fit Jao Cancelo in uh, it was either going to be a left back or a right mid, or something along those lines. I, he was never going to displace Kyle Walker, unless Kyle Walker gets injured. Maybe he's a good backup option. But the amount of hype around Cancelo for Juventus the season before last was ridiculous. It's David Luiz. Welcome back, Sideshow Bob. Everyone knows I don't really um, like this guy, attitude-wise. And just concentration-wise, he's absolutely one of the most rash players I've ever seen play football in my life. Now, next up is... Uh, Matthias De Litt, the amount of hype around this guy when he was at Ajax, Champions League semi-finalist, absolute brilliant team that Ajax team was, and my, uh, Frankie De Jong and Matthias De Litt were two of the reasons why that team did so well. He comes to Juventus, now according to the internet, like I said, the amount of hype around him considering his performances for Juventus don't really match up. He's not really wowed everyone like he did for like for Ajax, for example. Same with Junior Furpo, I was looking around for this guy, he's played 17 games in the Liga or something like that this year. Listen, Junior Furpo is one of these people that doesn't know if he wants to be a left winger or a left back. When he was at Betis, he pretty much had the whole of the left-hand side for himself. When he's at Barcelona, he doesn't. He has another winger out there with him. If it's Antoine Griezmann, for example, or anyone like that plays left wing. Junior Furpo is expected to play left back. Very much like Jordi Alba. Jordi Alba is a smart man and knows how to defend. And he also knows how to attack. That was apparently Furpo's issue this season. Is that he didn't know how to do either at the right times. And he was just a liability. Speaking of liabilities, Tangy and Dombele, mate. He literally got people in trouble during lockdown. So, uh, yeah. Absolute failure of a season, in my opinion. The amount of hype around this guy was absolutely unreal. Comes first game. Scores a goal. Looks great. What has he done since then? Very much like Aaron Ramsey at Juventus. Obviously, he was a free transfer to Juventus. It was a bit of a hit and hope whether he would do very well. And apparently, according to the internet once again, when Sarri came in, he played with a Trequatista, which is like a attacking midfielder that doesn't really do a lot of defensive work. And that's where Aaron Ramsey played. And he did quite well. Not, not outstanding. But then he switched to a 4-3-3 where he played Pjanic, um, Benton Kerr, and then Blaise Matuidi. Swapped him out after lockdown for Rabiot. And Aaron Ramsey just couldn't get near the team. So frustrating to see a talent wasted. Now, I like Atletico Madrid. I like how they play. Like they don't, I don't like watching it, but I like the, the ethos that they've got a style of play, how they play. And it's very frustrating to play against. Joe Felix, I don't feel like, in my opinion anyways, fits that team. They sold Antoine Griezmann and they bought Joe Felix. I just... I. I don't see him as a good player for Atletico Madrid. Eriksen's up next. This is a winter transfer, actually. Gone to Inter Milan. Um, you'd expect the Inter Milan to be able to do well with Eriksen, but if you look at how Inter Milan actually play, the way they play doesn't really suit Eriksen. Eriksen isn't a center mid. Eriksen isn't a CDM. He's not like like um, a deep playmaker. He's an attacking playmaker. Up behind strikers. He can't really do anything else. 
and the Inter Milan don't play with players like that. Now, I will excuse him a bit with the injuries. He's had quite a bad injury, if I'm not mistaken, towards the start of the season, but man, just a talent wasted. He really is. He's such a quality player. One of my favorite ever players to watch play football. If you watch him play for Chelsea in the Premier League, you'll know why. He's one of the most, in my opinion, since Ronaldo, Hazard is the most entertaining player we've ever had in the Premier League. And I'm being genuinely serious. Yes, that might be biased because I'm a Chelsea fan, but he will take on anyone and he'd look incredible. And he goes to Madrid, gets injured, and doesn't really do anything. I think he scored one goal in La Liga. That's diabolical. Speaking of diabolical, Luka Jovic. We were linked with him, and I'm so happy we didn't spend the money on him. And he's gone to Real Madrid and done absolutely nothing. Now, maybe he could have made all his appearances off the bench. Karim Benzema was in a form of his life as well. Benzema is a hard worker. Maybe Luka Jovic isn't a hard worker. Well, 17 games and one goal is woeful. And this is the full team. I'm looking forward to seeing what these boys are like. Uh, I don't really know how it's going to go. I think we're actually going to have a decent time of it. How many 4 cam players do we have? Only two in Ericsson and Furpo. This might go okay, actually. Anyways, if you're enjoying the video so far, make sure you leave a like and let's get into the games. All right, who are we flopping all over today, boys? Oh my God. What is that Alaba card? And why is he using a guy called Brooks at right wing? What is this witchcraft? <sighs> I know it's Harry Wilson comments. Please shut up. What is my fringe doing? Can you please just stay up, mate? That's what she said. <laughs> right then, floppy boys. Let's do things. Here we go. Ericsson. Five-star weak foot, mate. Right into Alaba's groin region. Good play, boys. The, the two jowls on the right-hand side. Luka Jovic. Oh, my God. He's a bus. He's actually... He's a good bus, though. Joe Felix near post. He's hit the post. Tongi and Dembele. It's like the first game of the season for Tottenham, boys. He gets the goal. Neil Pouch, that's how he is. Bayern Freak 93, what a name. Look at that. Composure, just waiting for the ball to come back and boom. Oh, it's bloody Casper the ghost, the left wing again. We can't touch him, he's, he's, he's ethereal. That's the word. Holy smokes, Batman. Why did I chip that? I literally didn't need to do that at all. It was my first instinct was to, oh, hold LB, Brooksy. <laughs> oh. Furpo. Are you sure about that, lad? Can you not wrap your foot around that? And now look at you. You're out of position again. I'll be Jesus, man. Furpo makes that pass around the left or right back, whoever the hell it is. Hazard's true. And then he's Aaron Ramsey trying to play a left back to catch up. Blade and joke, man. Tangy and Dombele. What a... If Langley gets to that before... I'm just joking, man. Give it in. Who's this? Near post. No. Oh. <laughs> ah, you're having a giggle, man. Oh, look, he's playing left back again. Aaron Ramsey because Furpo's not there. Oh, Furpo, what a surprise. You can't get it past the bloody right back. Why do you not even? Like... <laughs> get off the pitch. Why is Luca Bacchio keep coming onto the pitch? Ah, uh, if, if they score, he's put... Dal hey, no. Who is the... Oh, I swear to... God. Oh, Jesus, man. The guy on the pitch just keeps putting me off. David Luiz, the big monster. Oh, Furpo. What a surprise. <laughs> it's big, 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 big junior, Furpo. I want to ride my bicycle right off a bloody cliff. You're joking me. You're joking me. Oh, look who's attacking. Junior Furpo. Oh. No way, not, no. Oh my god, if Furpo had scored that, of all the players, that would have been, uh. Look at this, look at this defensive reading. Oh my god, man, sign me up, Atletico. You should have signed me instead of Joe Felix, mate. You spent 100 million on leading Joe Felix. Give me 100 quid, mate, on there. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Alright, I wasn't expecting that to go in, I won't lie to you, boys. Bait it to pass. And now I pass. I'm the master. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I did not want to say that word. Thank you very much. Let's blur that out. Now I just can't stop thinking about the fact that you're going to see the second goal and all I'm going to be doing is whistling. And there's going to be no context behind it either. I'm just going to be whistling for no reason. No, David. No. <laughs> Wow, uh, 
Uh, delete. That was uh, deliteful. <laughs> God, I need some entertainment for this video because it's dry. Here we go, Joe Felix. Come on. Come on. Do something for the boys. You've gone the wrong player completely. What's going on there? Oh my god, the lit has broke up his brother, the Jong. Oh, please. Oh my god. I don't. Please tell me you couldn't hear me fart right there. Because if you could hear me fart, you've heard me whistling and fart while I'm conceding the goal. This is not good, boys. This is not good. Bloody stinks as well. Oh. That was kind of filthy. I won't lie. Is you Luka Jovic on for a brace? <laughs> I think his batteries are dead on his controller, man. Rinsed. Welcome to Skillville population. Me and you, homie. You're going down. Can we get him a hat trick? Uh, we can get him a free kick. That's for dang sure. Who's taking a free kick and who's banging this? David Luiz. <laughs> Bro, David Luiz ran up. He's like, mine, mine, mine is mine. I couldn't even, I couldn't even aim it. Why couldn't I aim it? Well, what a bloody joke of a game, boys. Like I said, boys, please, I implore you to tell me who your transfer flops of the season are in the comment section down below. Have a friendly discourse with some of your other Brooksy HD viewers. Like the video if you haven't already. Please, can we get over a thousand likes? That'd be absolutely mental. As always, I, I, there's just one player in here that disappoints me more than anything, man. And it's Eden Hazard, bro. What a done. And he's just done nothing. Genuinely nothing at, at uh, Real Madrid, and it's sad to see. Anyways, boys, thank you very much for watching. If you have any other suggestions or videos I can do, by the way, let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Genuinely have a great day, and I mean that as I always do, and I'll see you in the next video. 